Hi, let's talk more about this to-do app thing, right? So, so far, I, um, I have this simple to-do app here. I'm waiting for it to load up. And, uh, you know, it has a few features now. Any moment now. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to add a button up here that says edit and then it'll allow you to uh, drag the rows around and rearrange the order of the cells, okay? And that's something you might want to do. Maybe our to-do app really doesn't need that, but, uh, you know, it's something that you might want to do in some apps. So how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, um, I'm in Storyboard here, and we'll need a button, okay? So I'm going to put a button. Actually, it's going to go over here. So I'll go find the bar button item or UI bar button item and we'll drag it to the upper left corner and then I'll set the identifier here to edit okay and then next we'll need to um, add a IB action to the button so I'm gonna open up both views here in um, in the assistant editor right so I've got my view controller swift here and then I've got uh, you know storyboard over here right so this table view is in this this view right here is in um, view controller so uh, let's go find a good spot I'll put my my IB action here right below this IB outlet so I'm gonna control drag from the edit button into the view controller and we'll call this edit button tapped okay and, uh, and there we go. Oops, wait. That was an IB outlet. Let's undo that. You know, um, let's make sure that this guy doesn't have a connection on him too, right? So I'll control click on him and he doesn't have the connection because I hit undo. So let's uh, drag it over here again. And let's make sure we set this to action this time. So we'll call it edit button tapped. And I'll set this to type UI bar button item. And there we go. Okay, so, so to allow the table view to be edited, what we're going to do is we're going to switch the editing mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to say table view dot editing equals table view dot editing but actually let's put this is a boolean right so let's put the exclamation point in front and then that way you know this will be the opposite of whatever it was so if this is true it becomes false and if it's false it becomes true so uh, we'll give that a test And there's my button and I click and then I get the editing right it doesn't show me the movable thing here right so we're gonna we're gonna do that next okay so the next thing I want to do is I want to add I have some uh, I have a mark here for uh, table view delegate methods right so let's go to the bottom of that group of, of functions and there's a table view delegate method called uh, can move row at index path Right, so I'm going to go find that one. Can move row at index path, and this returns a boolean that says like, "Hey, can you move this row, or can you not move this row?" And and in our case, you know, you can move all the rows, so we'll just return a true, and then you know they can all be moved. Okay. And then uh, so once we can move the row at index path, like what happens when you can move the row, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in table view. Oops, wait, not that one. I want table view, um, move row at index path, right? They got a delegate method just for that purpose, right? So here's move row at index path, okay? And so what I want to do is I want to um, delete the, the, the self or the, you know, the to-do item from our array and then insert it again at the new position. Because remember, the to-do items are all in the array at the same position they appear in the table view. And if we move an item in the table view to a new position, 
then the array has to match, right? And this method returns two or, or provides two values. It provides a source index path, that's where we were before we moved, and a two destination index path right here, two index path. Right, the destination index path is is the spot where our, our new, you know, our cell ended up after we moved it, right? So let's go find the item that we need to move, right? So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna say let to do equal array bracket um, and what I want is I want the item. Actually I want to remove it. Let's do array dot remove at index path or at index right and I want to do what uh, the index path is gonna be you know source index path dot row okay so we're gonna remove that item and this actually returns an item to us so it's gonna return a to-do item and then what I want to do is I want to say array dot insert new element at index and I want to insert the to-do item at the destination index path dot row right so we're gonna remove the item from the array you know essentially when we when we're here at this method the the movement has already happened in the table view and you've you've already let go and placed the row at the new location and so table view is notifying us that the elements in the table view were rearranged and so you know we need to deal with that in our data so let's give that a test so here we are and I'm gonna click edit and now since we've got you know can move row we get this little handle here and then this will be our move move action and that'll happen like after I drag this so I'm gonna drag this down there and now this guy's in this new position. There we go. And then we can add a new item. Let's say, hello item. And uh, save it. And then that item is at the bottom there. And we'll maybe we'll move it back up here. And then, you know, you can click this edit to get rid of those buttons. Okay, so there you go.